Welcome back. The last video that I posted was a performance of Box Allemande from French Suite Number no. 6, BWV 817 in E major. I recorded that using this Steinway Model L piano right here and the Zoom H6 to capture the audio. I used the XY capsule on the Zoom and I want to show you how I set that up as well as some alternatives to that setup so you can get an idea of how you might record a grand piano on your own for your own recordings. So when I'm setting up a microphone to record piano, I'm trying to think about what kind of sound I want. And there are uh, some things to consider as you're trying to formulate what sound you're looking for. First off, if you're setting your microphones in the cover of the piano, or even if you're positioning them so that they're um, a little bit outside, the closer you set the mics to the hammers, the more hammer you're going to hear. And then the closer you set the mics to the bridge, the less hammer you're going to hear, the more mellow the sound is going to be. So um, depending on what you're recording, you might want to keep that in mind. Um, if you are recording something like Bach, um, you might want that more articulate sound. And if you're recording something uh, a little bit more uh, kind of washy sounding, like uh, WC or uh, something a little bit more of the romantic style, you might want that more mellow sound that's going to blend a little bit more um, as the pedal is held down. Um, and then one other thing to keep in mind is the closer into the piano, the more piano you're going to hear, the more uh, of the actual instrument and the drier it's going to sound. And then the further out from the piano, the more room you're going to hear and the more reflection of the instrument in the room. So you should think about what you want within that spectrum and how much space you have and, and all that to, to actually get the room. Okay, so now let's get to setting up the microphone. I'm going to set my camera off to the side and I'm going to get the Zoom H6 on a tripod and uh, show you where we can set it up. Okay, so um, I've got the Zoom H6 here on my camera tripod and I'm going to try to start with a very basic um, outside of the body of the piano mic technique. And that's going to be starting here right at the crook. So I'm going to set this um, again pointed kind of at that hinge. And I won't be able to monitor this because of uh, I've got to go play. I'm doing this all by myself, but we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to, um, bring it up just a bit and then, um, that should get some of the reflection off of the lid and hit the record button. I'm going to play a bit of, uh, it's kind of an improvised thing, but it's, uh, an original song, uh, just the chords from an original song. It's sort of a like cabaret style thing. And let me, let me lower this just a little bit. So yeah, here we go. Um, microphone came out pretty well. It got a little bit loud at some points, but I've got the gain level at about five and it's got a low cut or a, what's otherwise known as a high pass filter. And that high pass filter rolls off um, tone 
below 80 hertz. It's a little bit limited with how you can set that in uh, this setup, but I think it's pretty good for right now. And um, now I'm gonna set the camera on this side. Uh, so uh, this is kind of level with the floor. So it's, um, it's parallel to the floor, but pointing at the first hinge over there. So now I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. And I'm gonna aim to have the microphone about three feet out. I'm six foot four, so my reach from my shoulder to my hand is close to three feet. So I'm gonna measure this from here and I'm gonna set the microphone where I'm standing. And that should get us a very much roomier sound. And then I'm gonna adjust this so I'm kind of looking right at that hinge. Um, the presence of the piano is gonna change. We'll hear just a little bit more of the room. I don't have much room here. It's a very tall ceiling, but uh, I would adventure it's 12 feet across, but it's, uh, yeah, it's very narrow. So it, it's not gonna have a great room sound. Anyway, here we go. So this is the same music. I'm going to try recording. The microphone is now about three feet away from the crook, still positioned parallel to the floor. Okay, so then uh, we can do another setup and this is going to get us just a little bit more height. So we're gonna keep it right here and I'm gonna raise it up to about six feet. I know because I'm 6'4 that my ear height is roughly six feet up and that's where I'm going to set it. So I'm going to bring it up and this time I'm gonna angle it down so it's pointing into the piano. Ooh, I need a little more height here. So I've got to adjust the legs of the tripod. Okay, and then the microphone height should be about six feet, but when I say microphone height, I mean the diaphragms of the microphone, so just the, this front part over here. And um, that's pretty close. I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a lift. And then I'm going to angle it from here down towards that um, hinge. So I'm gonna turn it just a bit, and then okay, and maybe do just a little more of a tilt. Okay, and now uh, I'm gonna hit the record button and we should hear a difference. This uh, may get an even roomier sound just because it's got 
a little bit more space from the floor. And uh, it might sound like longer reflections. And it might also be less bassy. Um, so here it goes. And sorry, I, uh, I changed things at the end there. Um, I'm just making that uh, part up. It's just arpeggios going up, as you can tell. And now um, we could take the microphone further back. I don't know that I have enough space to do that in this room, but um, let's just see what happens here. I could just move it as far back as it'll go. Um, I believe these zoom mics are cardioid pattern and they, can you see me? You can't see me. <laughs> All right, so I, I set the microphone over here um, against the wall and I'm gonna, Turn this just a bit. Let's see if we can get both in the shot. There's the microphone and the piano. So now it's it's quite far. Um, if we look from where the the microphone is, we can see um, to that hinge sort of. And again, the piano itself is going to become less and less present. Let's hear that piece one more time. Let me put the gain up on the zoom, just like half a notch. And this will get us a little bit of room, a little bit more room. So those are a couple of microphone positions from the crook of the piano. And we can do some additional things, um, positioning the microphone at the tail, and then we can also position the microphone behind the player. And that gives two very different sounds. The tail, I believe, is supposed to be very mellow. I've not actually mic'd a piano like that, but I've done from behind the player. I think the, the best thing that really represents what the audience hears is from the crook. And the player perspective is pretty cool, but it, it sounds really odd when you listen back. I'm not as much of a fan of it. Um, let's just try these two. I'm gonna do these very roughly, just because I'm um, just experimenting here. And I'll start with the tail one. Now I'm going to set the mic low again, and um, I want it once again kind of at the height of the rim of the piano. So I'm going to put it here and raise it up again. The, the point where the strings cross is 
a good point for focus, but I think if we go just sort of down the center of the instrument, this should be pretty good. And I'm going to put it so it's actually looking into the, or it's actually sitting over the rim. Um, this will get a very different sound. And I, I don't yet know what this is going to sound like, but uh, let's give it a try. Oh, I should lower the gain. So I'm going to go back to where it was originally, which was at five. So I'm going to take this now. I'm going to put it right over my shoulder here. And I'm going to, I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to raise it to um, about six feet again. So I'm going to need to extend the legs. I'm going to point it sort of at the um, bracing there in the middle. Let's see what this does. Now I want to show a couple of different positions with the mic inside the piano. And that will be close to the hammers, pointed at the middle, and then closer to the bridge. We'll set them kind of in the middle, pointed at um, the hammers over here, and then we'll move it so it's a little bit more here at the crossover point, and then we'll do another that's like here at the bridge. And we don't want it all the way to the base bridge, but we want it kind of where that upper string bridge is. So that should get us that should get us a fairly good sound at any of those points. I may not be able to pull that off as well as I would if I had a microphone stand. The tripod does have a boom arm, but it might not be long enough to get some of these angles. We'll see. I've got the microphone now sitting in the body of the instrument. It's a ways up. I'm going to just go with this position for now. You can experiment on your own with how close to get it. I'm fairly certain this is going to be excessively articulate and we could probably angle it even more towards the hammers with a better stand. It's probably going to be quite loud. I'm going to back it off. Yeah, that's cool. Next one is going to be in the middle, and I'll I should be able to get this pretty quickly. I'm going to point it right 
about here. I'm still not 100% certain about this, but um, the angle of these mics towards the strings, I'm not sure how much it's going to play into the, um, the tone, but this, this will give us a different tone. Here's a little closer to the middle. Last position is going to be closer to the tail. So all I'm going to do for this one is let me see if I can give you an idea of that. So there's the, the bridge and I've got the microphone pointing at the bridge. Last test here. Those are different ways that you can record a grand piano using the Zoom H6. I showed you several different microphone positions from outside the body of the instrument to a few inside the body. And each one has its own different color and you can experiment with those in your own recordings. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. Thanks for watching. Click like if you like it, click subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll see you next time.